Right, hello, uh, my name's Ossie, so I'm a first year medical student at Newcastle University uh, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my note-taking process. First of all, my method is a little bit unorthodox, but um, I think that's fine. So I think the key with that is that your note-taking process has to be unique to you. People learn in different ways, um, so I think you have to tailor and adapt um, your technique to what works for you. Um, so on the medical degree, we don't have a lot of time. So the way I kind of tailored and adapted my process to that is that I don't really make physical notes. So a lot of people, what they will actually do is they will kind of copy their notes from the note slides that the lecturer has provided. And some people will be very you know, meticulous with this and kind of copy down every single little diagram. I don't find this particularly useful. For me personally, that doesn't help. I would see that um, as a waste of time. So what I do is I print out the lecture notes uh, and I attend the lecture and I then add to those lecture notes based on what the lecture says. Lecturer says, so I will make little annotations. And I think that's quite a good technique. It saved me quite a lot of time now, I'd say there's a 50-50 split with regards to how people do this. So some people will bring their laptops and they will have the PowerPoint up and they will type as the lecturer is speaking in a note section of PowerPoint. Now, personally, I can see why that would be useful. You know, if things are digital, it helps you to keep more organized, helps you to keep on top of that. Um, but personally, I just prefer the feeling of pen on paper. For me, it feels better and that there is actually some evidence that writing things down um, has a stronger link in terms of forming those memories because you actually memorize the muscle movements as well. So personally, uh, you know, writing things down is a much better option for me. And, and also a lot, a lot of people might say, um, you know, how can you get everything down just from one sitting of the lecture? Now, I think the key to this is and this would probably be my number one tip, especially um, for a medical degree where everything is very quick and the lecturer you know, is speaking quite quickly and covering a lot of material um, in a short amount of time. Uh, I think really the key to this is to preview the lecture. You need to preview the lecture. You need to look up words that you don't understand. You need to look up general concepts that you don't understand. You really need to get to grips with that before the lecture begins. You don't want to be struggling with things or Googling words during a lecture. You want to do that beforehand so that you can focus um, on what the lecturer is saying. That is my number one tip. And that will save you having to recap the lecture. And I, you know, recapping the lecture takes far more time than attending it in real life. When you're recapping something, you tend to focus a little bit less because you're more focused on um, well, essentially you have unlimited time so you can just keep pressing back, back and back. Whereas when you're in the lecture and when you put pressure on yourself to attend that lecture, you tend to focus a little bit more because you don't have that option of just rewinding. Um, so I guess that's my main tip uh, or my main method um, of doing things. Now, the bit that's perhaps a little bit unorthodox about me is that some people, once they've made those lecture notes um, and those annotations, they will go away from that lecture and copy down those lecture notes uh, or recopy them and organize them into a format that they like and then reuse them. I tend to skip that phase. For me, note taking after that point is combined with active recall. So what I will do is I will sit down after the lecture, no notes, nothing open. I'll get a nice A4 piece of card um, and I will recreate what I learned from that lecture. Uh, now the benefit of this is, I've been through it once um, by previewing it. I've been through it twice by attending the lecture. So I should have a general idea of the lecture. Um, so then I will recreate it. I'll have an active recall session um, and I will then add to those lecture notes or to that kind of active recall card with the annotations and the slides that I have. So I never really create 
a super ordered, highly organized resource. It's all kind of active recall based and it really does save me a lot of time because when you're in an exam, you're never going to have access to your notes. You're always going to have access to what you have in here. So I find that it, it really does help in that sense. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions or you just want to follow me around, uh, here's my Instagram right here. And uh, yeah, thank you.